Hey, this is Russ. We're headed to Chipotle today. Yeah, I haven't been to Chipotle in a long time. Maybe a good uh, three, four years. <laughs> so I figured we'd do it today, but it is raining out there today. And uh, you probably hear the little raindrops hitting the windshield. I'm using the GoPro microphone again. I probably should have uh, should have used the other recorder. At least then the sounds wouldn't be right next to the microphone. <laughs> yeah, because you know the the uh, the camera's mounted to the windshield, and of course the rain is hitting the windshield, so the microphone's right next to it. So, anyways, but it is what it is. So, uh, yeah. We'll see how it turns out. So I'm gonna order a standard burrito. Now burritos, as you might know, you put whatever you wanna put on there. So I'll see what they have and I'll, I'll load it up. <laughs> yeah, the one thing I don't put on there is I don't usually put uh, onions, as you know, so we won't have any onions on there. But we'll put some of the other things and uh, then I'll let you know. So stick with me, I'll get there, <laughs> pick up the stuff and then bring it back and do a quickie uh, fast food Friday for you. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people going in there. Man, that, that thing's like uh, a money maker, that's for sure. So uh, let's get the tray out. As you know, we have to use the tray. The trays come in handy quite a bit. Let's clip that right on there. Let's see what they gave me here. Let's, let's check the pricing of it. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. I, I grabbed a whole bunch of napkins. So, uh, let's see. According to the receipt, chicken burrito is $8.40. Tax is $0.92. Cents. Total $9.32 for a burrito. But these things are packed, as you know. And so this time, I told them to stick everything in there. <laughs> I think the only thing I didn't put in there was uh, guacamole, because they charge you extra for that. I figured this was pretty expensive as it was. Um, 840, 92 cents tax, 932. And of course, I uh, I brought my own water. So let's see what they gave me here. It's Chipotle for real. Okay. Um, it, these things weigh a ton, <laughs> right? As you know, um, everything's packed in a in an aluminum foil. You know, the thing is, if I took the entire thing out and tried to eat it this way, it would get all over the place because this is the burrito. <laughs> you can see how big this is. So you kind of need this aluminum foil to keep it uh, keep it together. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rewrap it back in here. So stuff doesn't fall out of it. Okay, so uh, I put white rice on here. You have an option of white rice or uh, brown rice. So I did the white rice. And as you might know, that the white rice typically is, uh, I think they have lime and they have uh, cilantro in it. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I, I've tried making these myself and I've come awfully close, but they always taste a little better here. <laughs> so let's let's try it. Yeah, I, I think the last the last uh, fast food Friday was uh, Taco Bell. This is a lot better than Taco Bell. So let's try it. Definitely better. <laughs> Definitely better. I did not put any extra sauce because this stuff has lots of stuff, lots of sauce in here. All right. Let, let's talk about this one. <laughs> That's your typical thumbnail. You know, a lot of other reviewers do that. And the reason is because once you eat it, you can't do the thumbnail anymore. <laughs> you have to do it right away. So I have everything in here. I've got the rice. I've got uh, 
pinto beans, I think is what he said it was in here. And um, there's cheese, there's uh, salsa, whatever salsa they had. They also put in some of the green peppers and they did have onions in there. Oh well, it is what it is. It does have um, sour cream as well. So yeah, I loaded it up. <laughs> I think this is over 1100 calories at least by now. I'm trying to bite away at it. So you can see the inside better. Okay, let's try it. let's try it again. You guys see that better? Overall, made a mess. Overall, um, I like their burritos a lot, but they're not traditional in my in my opinion with the rice in there. You know what, what what makes this really big is all the rice, really. You're paying for a rice. My daughter and I decided one day we were going to try to duplicate this. Came awfully close. But they uh they steam their uh their flour tortillas makes it nice and soft, and they they have huge, huge tortillas too. You have to get the really big ones, otherwise you can't hold it all together. But yeah, this definitely has a lot of flavor. I don't know if this is any better, but. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I've always liked it. I don't think I've never li disliked it. Still reminds me of what it was before. So I think it, the quality is still there. Yeah, the, there's green peppers, there's... Uh, there's uh, onions in here. The salsa, of course, adds to it as well. It's got a little of everything in here, really. This this is uh, this is definitely a meal in itself, right? <laughs> you don't need any extra stuff, really. I think once you get this, that's it. Yeah, I don't think you need to order anything else. It is hard to eat because it is so big you kind of inhale it yeah I like it <laughs> how would I rate it 9 out of 10 <clears throat> yeah it's up there 9 out of 10 it's expensive. It's not cheap. Um, I was I was planning on going someplace else today, but I said, well, it's rainy. I don't want to go too far. There's a Chipotle in this general area, so I figured I'd do that. I'm glad I did it. If you've never tried Chipotle before, I suggest you do it. Now, here's another option you can do, a little hack. Sometimes you can order their bowls, which is essentially the same thing without the tortilla, and then ask them for some tortillas. <laughs> and, they, and they'll throw those in, I believe. And so if you, if you do that, I think you actually get more than maybe what a burrito has. But these burritos are so large, I don't know how much more you want, unless you, unless you wanna take it back home and have some extra later. That's that's one way to do it. People do that all the time. <laughs> but yeah, these are good. I'm not gonna finish it all here on camera for you, but um, yeah, it's exactly what I remembered from years ago. 
Um, I, I can make this. <laughs> I can make this, but I don't think I can make it as good as them. Because you, you'd have to have a lot of ingredients in order to make it. And uh, unless you're going to make lots of them, then making your own might be okay. But they do a good job overall. I, I like Chipotle. Yeah. I know they've had some bad press in the past. I don't, I don't remember why. <laughs> um, salmonella poisoning or something? I have no idea. I hope, let's, let's hope that's not this. <laughs> but overall, yeah, I like it. And I like it a lot. So, 9 out of 10. Yeah. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We're going to do more Fast Food Fridays and Foodie Tuesdays. So, stay tuned. Talk to you guys next time.